Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today we are going to do a comparison of two palettes. We have the two palettes right here. First one is the Dose of Colors Friendication palette. This is in collaboration with Daisy and Katie. And the other one is the Pat McGrath Subversive palette, which is the Mothership 3 palette. So let's get started and open up these palettes. Such a beautiful packaging of the Mothership palette. Look at the packaging of the Dose of Colors palette. I love it so much. So beautiful. This is how the palette looks like. My blue is a little bit shattered. I had dropped it. So yeah, just ignore that. And here is the Pat McGrath palette. Okay, so here are both the palettes side by side. Both the palettes are actually pretty different, but there are a few shades which may be similar in both the palettes and that's why it was a requested video. So I'm going to uh, compare the Mothership palette or the Pat McGrath palette in terms of the Dose of Colors palette. Just in case you already have the Dose of Colors palette, then you would know if you really, really need uh, the Mothership palette or not. So I think let's start off with the match shades of both the palettes. In the Dose of Colors palette, there are five match shades, uh, while in the Pat McGrath palette, there are just two match shades, one brown and one black. So obviously the number of matches which you get in Dose of Colors is more and you will be able to do a lot more different uh, everyday kind of looks. Here I'm swatching the matches on my arm. The Dose of Color palette, it has beautiful pigmentation and all the matches are really, really nicely buildable. Uh, they are just super easy to blend as well and you get a nice variety of mattes. You have a lighter matte as well for highlight shade and you have a deeper mat for uh, depth. So those are the matches from Dose of Colors. Let's um, swatch Pat McGrath now. Okay, so those are the swatches of the matches from both the palettes. So you can see that uh, other than the brown shade, the deeper brown shade, there isn't much uh, similarity between both the palettes. So I think only the brown shade is a little bit similar. Uh, although I still feel that the, there is a slight bit of difference in the browns. But yeah, if you see the comparison of the matte shades, only the brown shades may be a little bit similar. Okay, now from the shimmers, uh, I will not be swatching all the shimmers. Let's start off with the first one. I will be swatching only the relevant ones which seem a little bit similar in the Dose of Colors. So in Dose of Colors, we have something similar, uh, this pink uh, sparkly shimmer. Now the texture is very different. Both the shades may look a little bit similar. You can see here, the texture is quite different. The Pat McGrath one is very metallic, very smooth. And the Dose of Colors one is more glittery, more sparkly, more iridescent. So they may look a little bit similar, but texture is totally different. I hope you can see the sparkle. When the camera is out of focus, you will be able to make out the sparkle a little bit more. Okay, let's move on to the next shades. There is a purple in the Pat McGrath palette. It's a beautiful, beautiful purple. I really, really like it. It's a beautiful purple, but this purple is not there in the Frankation palette. So I think there is no point swatching all the shades because I've recently done a video on the Subversive palette swatches. So I'll skip swatching. Uh, then we have this beautiful uh, shade. It's more of a satin brown color, which may look a little bit similar to the matte shade, the satin brown color, but it's a satin shade and the other one is a matte shade. Next, we have some shades which may be of interest. So you have this black, the blue, and uh, there is this olive as well, which is somewhat similar in the those of colors palette so i think many of you are just interested in those shades how similar are they so first i will swatch the black now the pat mcgrath one is a black glittery kind of color and the same is the dose of colors one you can see here they are very very similar they have that very similar feel and texture as well and both have glittery sparkly silver infused in them and both are just stunning dose of colors has a slight bit of deep blue element to it as well but they look very very similar on the eyes so i'll swatch it uh, both the shades this is pat mcgrath 
and then we have dose of colors of course the dose of colors is not as intense at first go pat mcgrath is just super super intense at first go after all uh they do these kind of shadows very well but dose of colors is also not less you can build the color very easily and pigmentation in dose of colors is also very good so here are the two shades i hope you can make out they are very very similar you can see the sparkles as well the sparkles also look very similar okay let's move on to the olive shade next and there is a olive in the dose of colors palette as well look at the tones of both the olives the pat mcgrath one may be just a tad bit brighter and lighter and the dose of colors one has a slight bit of smokiness to it and uh, yeah i love both the shades there is just a slight very very minute difference so i will swatch them right here this is pat mcgrath and this is dose of colors as i was mentioning dose of colors has a slight bit of smokiness i really really love the dose of colors if you ask me i think out of both the olives i prefer the dose of colors one because it has that beautiful like that deep olive tone which i really like uh, like of course the pat mcgrath one is also very good very sparkly but if you ask me to choose i really love the dose of colors one okay i think let's move on to the blue the blues look very very similar as well just that the dose of colors has a slight bit of depth the pat mcgrath one is a little bit lighter uh and the pat mcgrath one is a little bit more glittery as well dose of colors one is a slightly bit more metallic with little less glitter okay let me just swatch here so this is pat mcgrath and this is dose of colors look at that pigmentation it has a slight black and base as well i feel the dose of colors one so it looks more uh more duochromatic and very intense on the eyes and uh, the pat mcgrath one also is very beautiful it, it it has a little bit more glitter and in terms of color uh the tone is a little bit slightly uh different than the dose of colors one okay i think next we have just one shade which we can compare between both the palettes uh, there is that light pinky shade in the pat mcgrath palette and you have that uh, reddish maroonish deep pink sort of a color in the dose of colors uh, dose of colors friendcation palette so we can compare both these shades but i think it's very clear from the palette itself that they are quite different from each other a uh, pat mcgrath one is quite lighter and the dose of colors one is more deeper and pat mcgrath one has a golden a lilacy flip so it's a very nice duochromatic shade here is the pat mcgrath one you can see that it has it looks purple here but it's actually pink and gold as well and that swatch is from the previous dose of colors shadow swatch which has not <laughs> gone from my hand so the pigmentation is really good from the dose of colors palette so here are the two shades you can see the dose of colors one is definitely more intense more richer deeper pink okay and lastly we have one more shade left uh that is the white shade it has shift of purple uh that kind of color is not there in the dose of colors palette so there is no point swatching so yeah i think out of all the 10 shades from both the palettes we have a few comparisons which are pretty close these four from the pat mcgrath are pretty close to the interesting shades in the dose of colors palette as well and uh, yeah they're very close so if you have the dose of colors palette you may not need the pat mcgrath it's up to you how you see the tones just the only difference is that the purple and the pink from the pat mcgrath palette is not there in the dose of colors palette so unless and until you are really really interested in the purple and the pink as well uh, because the other shades in the palette are pretty neutral so unless and until you are absolutely uh, wanting that purple and pink that duochromatic pink i think you can just skip the pat mcgrath palette if you have the dose of colors so yeah that's the comparison of both the palettes i hope this was helpful to you if you have any other questions then just let me know in the comment section below and yeah do consider subscribing if you haven't subscribed already thank you so much for watching i will see you again really soon in my next video bye